Well, Lindsay, to, you know, to that point, we you know, tell us a little bit about the program that you originally built, you know, for the Ripley court system. I mean, how did you go about doing that? And, you know, and is that program still active or be incorporated into what you're doing today? The program is active. I will say we have changed a lot. So I came from Dearborn County. I work in a jail and working in a jail there is kind of a harsher approach to treatment and once i got out of that setting i realized we're not treating addiction we're treating trauma and so we're treating people that have had generational trauma that have never had a support system and to nikki's point they don't really have a lot of people they feel like care about them and so i kind of modeled it off of what i was doing in the dearborn county jail but then i started going to trainings and realized we're missing this key component of trauma and so a big shift for our treatment is we're now much more trauma informed. We're focusing more on addressing the underlying trauma. Whereas if you go to a typical substance use program, you talk a lot about relapse prevention, people, places, and things, all that's really important. But if I don't treat the underlying condition, it doesn't matter how many times I've preached to you to not go around your drug dealer. And so now we're doing some bottom up processing, meaning we're looking at how trauma has impacted your body. We're looking at how to address that because to your point, mental health and healthcare are the same thing. And so we're seeing these um, increases in autoimmune disorders or things that we cannot treat. Well, because we're not treating the issue, we missed the whole issue of trauma. And so that is a big shift for us is we're really addressing that trauma. We're working with patients in a group setting, but also one-on-one. -on -one. We're working with the community to make sure they have access to peer recovery coaches. We're working with them to make sure they have access to food, to psychiatry. And so we took this baloney budget, as Nikki calls it, and we made it this holistic program that's approaching all aspects of your life, as opposed to just treating the, how do we keep you from relapsing and going back to prison?